Hi folks, Diner Bob here with a quickie one-off build in Prehistoric Kingdom Beta. Now this time we'll be looking at some speed builds of various viewing platforms connected with this Iguanodon habitat that I built in uh, the point four Beta build. The first one we're looking at here is an elevated position uh, looking down into the exhibit and it is basically a ginormous sunshade uh, and it is the largest of these uh, viewing points. Um, I'm building a frame here, very simple sort of thing, with uh, upright beams, curved beams, and horizontal beams, all to uh, be sitting on concrete pillars. Uh, I'm building at an angle from where it will be sitting, just so it's on the, the world grid, just to make my life easier. Uh, and I decided to use the tropical wood on a curved uh, shape for the uh, basic element of the roof. You can see I'm working to uh, match it to the curved beam. And then it's duplication time as one does. Lots of pieces to make this whole thing. I was trying not to stretch out the texture too much um, and then duplicating it for the other side. Uh, so a structure like this of course would channel rain down into the center of it. So I decided that was the place to put a gutter. And uh, the gutter I'm doing as a single piece because the texture is less crucial there. It doesn't get all weird like wood sometimes does. And changing the color, settling it down in that valley to catch all that rain. And uh, I am not fussing with the angle that a gutter would have to be to drain this stuff. It just doesn't seem worth it in, the, in a game like this. So capping both ends and then I will proceed to do um, down spots um, because you need to uh, have that water go somewhere and uh, having a waterfall at either end of this thing doesn't sound uh, very pleasant for our guests. So setting up uh, the uh, angled pipe to bring it in uh, closer to the uprights um, I was fiddling a bit there, trying to decide if I wanted to do it at the very end, which of course would be the most uh, uh, efficient way to drain that gutter, um, and decided that that was just a little uh, too much sticking out, and I wanted to have the pipe close to the actual support. Having uh, put the support together, it's time to uh, give it a name and then to uh, rotate it and position it to where I want it to be to shade our guests as they come to look at the iguanodons in the exhibit. And uh, having done this one, we're going to steal it and use it in connection with the next one, which is a uh, another viewing area. You can see I already put in some rough bits, and this is going to actually provide us a uh, water and I guess sunshade, but mostly a water uh, shade for the uh, stairs down because this is a place where the guests can get down at a Guanadon level and look into the exhibit. Um, you can see that uh, there's a fence uh, between the rocks uh, and that's the uh, what will keep the animals in. And uh, I will eventually be adding a fence to keep the people from getting to the fence. Uh, because, well, we just don't want them sticking their hands through the fence, the iguanodons. They might think those fingers are carrots and uh, give them a munch. Not a good plan for public relations. Um, so I, I had to fuss a bit trying to get this to behave well with... Uh, the uh, paths that were leading to it. And uh, it uh, 
was a little bit of a headache as it sometimes is um, for aesthetic reasons. Um, as you can see, the guests can come down the stairs and walk across the platform. They can come down the other stairs as well, but I don't know if we're going to catch any of them doing that. Um, I decided to wall off areas to do a little landscaping and uh, a little bit of screening so the guests aren't standing up there and trying to watch the animals in the habitat from up there because, uh, well, it caused traffic congestion and they wouldn't get all that good of view anyway. So, uh, you can see me going back and forth, working out where to put things, deciding if it's working, and looking kind of the way I want, checking the back of it. And, uh, yeah, it's uh, mostly okay. Uh, I messed up a little bit with the height of those walls, so I had to go back and, and fix that. And there goes a guess down, and it's the height I wanted. Basically, once I get on the stairs, they really can't see into the exhibit. So, uh, wanted to, to concretize the back side of that so people don't fall off and let them have the natural rock wall here at the uh, intermediary platform. Uh, railings will have to go in as well. We don't want them falling from the intermediary platform. And we don't want them falling down along the edge of the rock face. So push the rock face back, get it out of the way. That's looking pretty good. Um, and I don't remember if I got recorded putting in the foliage there in the center section uh, and putting the fencing in. Um, yeah, here comes the fencing. I decided to use uh, the uh, simple uh, new to beta tropical fencing to keep the guests out of those areas. Um, and it seems to have worked out pretty well, but it, it didn't want to go up and work on the platform, of course. So I had to come up with an alternative plan to put this stuff up there. Um, using uh, the um, sort of mulch tone from the, I think it's a coastal um, biome uh, painting tool to uh, fake the mulch. And then one last smaller uh, viewing area off on another side of the exhibit. And this is uh, a simple sunshade, green shade kind of uh, pavilion to let the guests have a little bit of shelter as they uh, look down onto the iguanodons. It's perhaps not the most um, uh, advantageous spot to, to view this from. I think I ultimately decided to lower those rocks so there was more of a view. Um, you won't see me tricking out the uh, foliage around this exhibit or even the actual exhibit build because I, uh, I forgot to record the actual exhibit build. And, um, Watching the foliage go down uh, is just going to add a lot of time to the run time for this one. I wanted to keep it short. So I realized after I put that together, I wanted to echo the concrete uh, basing that we used on the main viewing area. So in it goes. So we're coming to the end. A little bit of a guanodon time on the screen. And uh, I've got another one of these quickie beta bills that are not part of an ongoing park. And uh, I'll be putting that together, running a little off schedule. Um, and uh, we're coming to almost early access here. So it's going to get exciting. See ya.